Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In the previous video, we learned about the tangent of a circle. In this video, we will discuss the number of tangents that can be drawn from a point to a circle. Sanju and Manju like to study in a fun way. Manju is using her bangles and Sanju is using few sticks to study mathematics. Come on, let's trace the shape of the bangle on paper and make a point inside it. Now Sanju, place these sticks in such a way that each stick passes through that point. Now what can you say by looking at the situation? If we consider these sticks as lines on the circle, then we can see that all the lines intersect the circle at more than one point. And we know that a tangent intersects the circle at only one point. That is, no tangent can be drawn from this point on the circle. But this stick intersects the circle at just one point. So, is this also a tangent? No, this is not a tangent. Let's draw a line for this stick. If you extend this line further, it intersects the circle at another point too. So, it is not a tangent. Absolutely perfect. Now, can you try to draw a tangent by taking some other point inside the circle? We can see that tangents cannot be drawn on a circle from any point inside the circle. You might remember from the previous video that there is one and only one tangent to a circle passing through a point lying on the circle. If this point is outside the circle, then how many tangents can we draw? I can't say anything about it. Come on, let's try this again on paper with the help of bangles and sticks. Let there be a point outside the circle. And arrange the sticks in such a way that each stick passes through this point. So, what do you see here now? In each case, any line drawn from this point intersects the circle at two points. But these are the only two lines which intersects the circle at only one point and these two lines are known as the tangents to a circle. Hence, we can say that there are exactly two tangents to a circle through a point lying outside the circle. In the third case, let's denote the tangents of all the circles by lines P A, P B, O M, O N, S T and S U respectively, which is known as the length of the tangent. If we measure P A, P B, O M, O N, S T and S U, then we find that P A and P B O M and O N, S T and S U are mutually equal. Based on this activity, we can say that the length of tangents drawn from an external point are equal. Today in this video, we learned about the number of tangents that can be drawn from a point on a circle. Also, we came to know 
that the tangents drawn from an external point to the circle are equal in length.